In this video, Max7219 8x8 dot matrix module is programmed in the assembly to display digits from 0 to 9. The Max7219 dot matrix module is made of 8x8 LED matrix which is driven by the Max7219 driver. It is interfaced with a microcontroller using a 3-wire SPI and we can uh, daisy chain multiple of these modules to get a larger display. The module is programmed by sending two bytes, the command byte and the data byte, via the data in line. The command byte determines which digit is addressed. We have from digit 1 to digit 8. And the data byte determines the 8-bit value on the digit this being the most significant uh, bit and this being the least significant bit. In this video we want to display on the module the digits from 0 to 9 and the binary matrix for digit 0 is shown here this would be the byte value at uh, digit 1 all the way to byte value at digit 8. Likewise for digit 9 this is the binary matrix. In the next slide, I will show the algorithm used to display a digit on the module and how to store the binary metrics in flash memory and use pointer Z to access the bytes in this matrix and display it or send it to the module. Before we go into the details on how pointer Z is used to access data in flash memory, we need to discuss addressing modes in AVR assembly. Addressing modes is the transfer of data from source to destination. The source could be a immediate number or it could be a CPU register or it could be a memory location or it could be an I.O. port while the destination has to be a CPU register or memory location or an I.O. port. AVR assembly has different types of addressing modes. We begin with the single register addressing mode where the source is a immediate number and the destination is a register. So this mode is used to copy a constant into a CPU register. Next we have the register addressing mode which is used to transfer data between two CPU registers. Next we have the direct addressing mode which is used to transfer data between memory location in RAM and CPU register. Next we have register indirect which is similar to direct but here the copy or the transfer of data from memory location in RAM and CPU register is done uh, indirectly through one of the three pointers X, Y or Z. Next we have flash direct addressing mode which is used to transfer data between memory locations and flash memory and CPU registers. And finally we have flash indirect which is similar to direct but the transfer of data between flash and uh, CPU registers is done indirectly through pointer Z. In a future video, all of the addressing modes in AVR assembly will be discussed in detail with uh, practical examples. In this video, we'll be focusing on flash indirect addressing mode, where 16-bit register Z is used as a memory pointer. Now, register Z is basically register pair R30 and R31. The two instructions used to access data in flash memory via pointer Z is load program memory and store program memory. Program memory is another word for flash memory. As an example, let's say we want to store a byte in a location in flash memory. And we do this by using directive byte, which is preceded by this label here. Now this label represents the 16-bit address of that location and flash. Keep in mind that flash memory within the AVR microcontroller uses 16-bit memory addressing. 
Next we designate register Z as a pointer to this memory location. We do this by copying the low byte uh, of the address into low byte register ZL and the high byte address into register ZH. So now Z is pointing to this memory location. Instruction load program memory here will get the byte pointed by Z in flash memory and copy it into register R16. And then the plus means that the pointer Z will be auto incremented to point to the next byte in flash memory. And instruction store program memory means that the byte in register R17 will be copied to memory location pointed by Z. And now let's look at the assembly code needed to display zero on the module. So first we need to store the data needed to sketch zero in flash memory using the byte directive. And the label digit zero is the start address, 16-bit start address of the flash memory where the data is stored. In the assembly code, R17 will be used to store the command byte and R18 will be used to store the data byte. Here R17 has initial value of 1 which means that it is accessing or addressing the first digit. Next we want to copy the low byte of digit 0 into ZL and the high byte into ZH. So now Z is pointing to the start address of flash memory where our bytes are located. R19 will be used as a counter for a loop with initial value of 8 so that we loop 8 times to access the 8 bytes in flash memory. Next using instruction load program memory we get the byte pointed by Z which is the first byte and copy it into register R18 and then auto increment Z. So now Z is pointing to byte 2. Next we call the subroutine sum bytes to send the values of registers R17 and R18 namely the command byte and the data byte. And then we increment R17 so that we are accessing digit 2. And then we compare R17 with 9 to see whether we have covered all of the digits. If not then this instruction will be skipped and we decrement R19 which is the counter and then we jump to label L6 and repeat the process. We do this eight times until we have sketched all the patterns on the MAC7219 display. This circuit shows the interfacing of the MAC7219 8x8 dot matrix module with the Arduino Uno through port B and using SPI connection and the module displays the digits from 0 to 9 continuously. A quick look at the assembly code. Inside subroutine MAC7219 display digits. We call the subroutine to display digit 0 and then apply a delay and then subroutine to display digit 1 and we continue with this until we display all of the nine digits and then go back and repeat the count from 0 to 9. Inside subroutine display digit 0 we have the code for displaying the digit on MAC7219 and this is its data stored in flash memory. Same way we have for digit 1 and its data up to digit 9. In a future video I will program four MAC7219 modules daisy chain to display text and data. Thank you for watching.